Good evening, barflies and lounge lizards, and welcome to Late Night Video. I'm your host, R. Sterling Gray, and tonight we'll be taking a look at Bad Channels from 1992 by The Great Full Moon Productions. Directed by Ted Nicolau of Dungeon Master, TerraVision, and Subspecies fame, Bad Channels is an extremely quirky sci-fi film about some aliens that invade a radio station with the intention of abducting some human females, shrinking them to itty bitty, and putting them in tubes. That alone is pretty unique, but where this film really stands out is its music. And it's not a musical by any means, but it features what are essentially music videos uh, when the women are captured. So watching Bad Channels kind of feels like you're channel surfing in the early 90s, late night TV. Bad Channel stars Paul Hip as Dan O'Dare, who's the radio station DJ that's trying to warn the listeners of an alien invasion, but he's kind of known for pranks and outlandish stunts, so no one listens to him, and so he has to take things into his own hands. And to give, a, give it a little, I guess, even though she was a VJ, not a DJ, a little bit of cred in that world, it also features Martha Quinn from early MTV fame. This one features great practical effects, overseen by Greg Aronowitz, who would actually go on to be a creature sculptor on the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. And it features everything from the aliens that invade, a robot. How about those aliens? Especially Lump, who looks a little like R2-D2. Yeah, he's his third cousin, actually. Came from the same factory. And then this Audrey 2 meets Biolante-esque plant puppet thing that is extremely groovy. The music in this one is fantastic. Most of the score was actually done by Blue Oyster Cult, but the music video sequences were all done by small bands at the time. My personal favorite being the nearly impossible to spell Psychotic Symphony. I'm so happy, so happy, won't you like to be happy too? But it also features Fair Game, which was a almost all female band led by Ron Keel of Steeler and Keel fame. A bit disheveled by Doug knows what I'm talking about right there. Now, Bad Channels is actually the second film in this kind of little mini full moon shared universe featuring Dollman, Bad Channels, Demonic Toys, and then Dollman versus Demonic Toys. Though the story was retconned slightly in the Dollman versus Demonic Toys because the still shrunken bunny was replaced by a nurse ginger. And it was cool that they were doing the crossover films even that far back. And there might even be a little cameo by someone in a post credit scene you might want to check out. Full Moon did it before Marvel. And the film's tagline, in space, no one is safe from rock and roll. But why would you want to be? That's not part of the tagline, that's just something I added. Is it wacky? Oh, it is all kinds of wacky. This is a fun, lighthearted, um, borderline comedy sci-fi film. I mean, just the robot alone, it's good times. And I give this one three and a half, possibly four, depending on the day of the week, Tim Thomerson's out of five. This is a fun, rockin' little film. Definitely recommended. I always say highly recommended. I switched it up today and said definitely recommend it. But then again, this is my channel. I wouldn't talk about anything I didn't recommend. But this is one I would generally recommend to a lot of different people. It's just a good time. Who'd have thunk it when I was a little boy growing up in Philadelphia that one day I would grow up and be in Hollywood killing aliens with Lysol? It's a dream come true. And that's all the time we have for this week. Please like comment, subscribe, keep it wacky.